Yeah, hi, this is Phil Midland Siding, Omaha, Nebraska. So we're doing a roof and uh, we just got done with this James Hardy cement siding, but we're doing the roof and it had the original gutters on this house. So I have multiple uh, flashings up there, but so we got it all stripped down and uh, I wanted to, uh, to be here to take a video of this ice and water shield. You'll notice that on this house that there's there's uh, 24 inch overhangs, but that front porch dips back pretty good and code says that I gotta be 20 inches inside of a heated space. Whether it would really matter to do the full three rows on there, but we ended up doing two rows because of the 24 inch overhangs. And then right there in the front of the house, uh, we went ahead and added the third row. So up on the roof where you see these guys working, uh, they went ahead and added the third row so that if there's ever any ice damming as a result of um, as the snow and water head down that roof and, and the edge of the roofing gets cooler, that's why they add the ice and water shield, uh, you end up with a uh, collecting uh, and freezing as a result of hitting the metal gutters and then backing up onto the roof edge. But we got three layers up there and that's kind of what it looks like. We're using synthetic felt on this one. Mostly because it's puncture resistant and uh, it's just lighter and easier to use. The guys hate felt anymore. Besides, when you walk on a nail with the felt after it's been lit, the nails lifted a quarter inch or something, it will po poke a hole in it. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what it is. And then ice and water shield in Omaha, Nebraska, that's a proper method right there where you take the, the, uh, the flashing and you put it on first and then you run the ice and water over it. But if this was northern Minnesota and up towards Canada, I probably would have taken that ice and water shield and rolled it right over the top of the fascia board and then taken that metal strip and putting on over the top of it. Mostly because in severe damming areas that water can get all the way under the gutters and get all the way in there. Here in Omaha, we didn't even have snow once last year. I think we had us dusting, but anyway, knock on wood. So here it is September, we're doing a roof and uh, this is Midland Siding, Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks a lot guys.